Hey there, friend. I'm going to share with you three things today. I'm going to share with you one thing I hate, one thing I love, and we're going to do a product review and we're going to find out if I love or if I hate it. But before we get to that, I'm going to share with you a little bit about kind of my night last night, because I know you're going to understand, um, you know, with this living with adrenal insufficiency, living with Addison's, one thing I have learned is that I'm always going to experience loads. If I want to live life, if I want to do the things that I love, they are going to come at a cost. So I have an option. Either I live, you know, subhuman <laughs> and not be able to do much, or I push the boundaries and feel well most of the time. But I always have these days where low cortisol kind of, it gets me. And last night was one of those nights, but I did it. Um, I experienced it and I know why I've been going full force lately, being more social. I've been working out. I've been organizing things. I've been working. I've been following my dreams, following my goals, doing the things that I love. And yes, it comes at a, at a cost. And last night it came at that cost where, you know, I felt worse, but it was one of those nights. Um, I have a back split in my house and, you know, I went from the basement to the next level and I had to rest and I end up kind of going into that Addison's coma for about 45, 50 minutes. Um, my son was close by and then I knew as soon as I got up, I didn't even have the strength to carry my laptop um, back up to my kitchen. I had to get him to do that for me, you know, and then it was time for some pickles and some extra meds before I went to bed. And then when I got into bed, of course, my pump ran out, um, which I forgot about. And I didn't even have the strength to get out of bed to go get my pump supplies. So I sent my son a text and he went, got the supplies for me and sat with me while I changed the pump um, and got myself going to get me through the night. Um, and then even this morning, I wasn't feeling the greatest, but I listened to my body, listened to my instincts, listened to what I know about this illness. And I took some extra meds and I always go based on the words. Um, if you haven't watched the, um, the episode with Professor Waz from the UK, I highly recommend it because I always hear him say, you know, we shouldn't think twice about updosing that, you know, we know this illness, we know how our bodies feel. And if we think it once, then we probably need it. So um, I try to get out of that cortisol catch up that, you know, that hole that I'm digging myself, because when I dig that hole of low cortisol and not listen to my body, my poor body just gets exhausted of fighting. And then I really put myself at a risk. So um, better days ahead. I'm feeling better today, mentally, physically, when I get low like that. Um, you know, not only the inability to move and the weakness and um, that goes along with it. Um, last night wasn't too bad of a mental journey, but it was a little bit of a mental journey. Um, mentally, I get very frustrated and um, a little a little heartbroken sometimes. And last night she was a little heartbroken, but she's feeling better today because I do remind myself of all the things that I've been doing, all the things that I've accomplished with this illness. And I know there's going to be more that I can accomplish. And I am doing amazing things, living in this body that doesn't always cooperate with me. So low cortisol is just a price I pay for living. And last night, last night was, I had to pay the price just for a little bit. My body was telling me to slow down just a little bit and I needed to listen. So I didn't push that boundary going into an adrenal crisis. So, so let's get to first, the one thing, um, the thing that I hate, okay. It's kind of like a love hate relationship. Okay. I'm going to show you it's these stainless steel water bottles. Okay. They're very trendy. They're very, you know, it took me a long time. I love this one. I think it's very pretty. Um, I have small hands, so it works great for my hands for me to grip it. Um, but what I don't like about them is I find them very heavy when they're full of water. And when I'm out, if I'm out going for a walk or something like that, I just find them very annoying. Okay. I, I always have. Um, and a lot of them now are really, really pricey. The trendy ones are super, super pricey. And then they boast about, you know, keeping your water cold for like 24 hours. Really? What do you need water cold for 24 hours for? Where are you going? And why aren't you drinking it that it's still in the water bottle after 22 hours and it's cold? Okay. So, you know, it's a little bit of marketing there. We don't need our water in our water bottle cold for 24 hours and spend an obscene amount of money on these for them to be very, very heavy. So that's what I hate about these. I find them heavy and um, and expensive. So this was an expensive one because I refuse to spend a lot of money on a water bottle. Um, but what happens to me is when that cortisol goes low, um, 
everything now weighs about a hundred times more than what it used to. So um, this already feeling heavy water bottle now becomes extremely heavy. And then I also look at it as it um, now becomes a threat for, <laughs> for the poor people in my life, because usually when my cortisol goes low, I get very agitated. Um, sounds, lights, people, pretty much everything existing around me. Um, I want it to go away. And if it tries to communicate with me, <laughs> I get even more grumpy and it takes my cortisol down even more lower and lower. And I'm just not a happy being. So usually in moments like that, I, I'm just better off to be to be left alone. So if if they're near me and I have this now heavy water bottle, it obviously now becomes a weapon I could use to get them to leave me alone. So it definitely becomes a threat <laughs> for the people that are in my life. Okay. So that's what, you know, I love them because they're kind of cute. They're pretty. Um, but I don't like the heaviness. I don't need something that keeps my water cold for 24 hours. I have more places I want to spend my money and then it becomes a safety issue for my loved ones. Okay. So now I'm going to show you what I love. Now, this is something I used years and years ago. They, they came out um, when mixing drinks and everything be, started to become trendy. People were taking things with them and they were looking for something to mix protein shakes up. And this is, it's a, called a blender bottle and I absolutely love them. So I ordered some more of them. You can get them in so many pretty colors, different sizes. And what it has inside is a little metal ball and that just mixes everything up for you. So it works absolutely wonderful. It's got a nice little thing for my finger. It's nice and light. It's easy to take if I'm out for a walk. Um, it fits into my cup holder. Barely costs any money, okay? Um, yeah, it's not insulated, but you know what? I just need it for a short period of time anyways. And we're supposed to be drinking our fluids anyway. So probably by the time it starts to warm up, it's time to refill anyways. Okay, so this is called... A blender bottle. Okay. Blender bottle. Can you see it there? Blender bottle. Okay. So now let's do our little product review. Now, this is something I've heard from a lot of you that you find helpful for your adrenal insufficiency um, and that you really like. It's a hydration drink. Um, it's called Liquid IV. It says, what can I say? Tell you about it. Accelerated hydration that refreshes, rapidly replenishes electrolytes. And we know a few people who would need rapid re refreshment of electrolytes okay uh five essential vitamins tastes great um all kinds of good stuff okay so these are in individual packages and um it's got a little bit of sugar in it okay so what i'm gonna do because there's sugar in it so there is in one package there's 11 grams of sugar so for every four grams of sugar of added sugar and if you look sugar is actually the first ingredient so that actually means it's the biggest ingredient in this pack is that they've added sugar and that's probably why it tastes great. Okay, so be be smart, be mindful, read your labels. Um, so I'm gonna use it mindfully. I'm not gonna use it all day because it's got 50 calories in one. And that's, if I drink four of these in a day, here's 50 calories and too much added sugar, which isn't going to make me feel well. And I don't want that, okay? So this is something I'd probably use you know, if I'm going for an extended period of time where I personally can't drink water, okay? You might have heard that on some of the other things I've put up. Um, if I drink water without sodium, it just flushes the sodium right out of my body, okay? And that just depletes me very, very quickly and drains my energy and puts me at risk of a crisis, okay? So um, over the years, learning from this illness, I know I can't drink water. Okay. I need to, I can a little bit, but I have to be very, very careful of it. And if I drink too much, I need to make sure I'm replacing my sodium. So I would probably use something like this if I'm going someplace and I know I'm not going to be um, getting that sodium source in, um, you know, on a regular basis. So, and you know what I'm going to have to do? <laughs> Let's see if I can open this. One really hard thing with this is opening things. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting it. Um, so this would be great if I'm going out for an extended walk or I'm going someplace, a doctor's appointment. If you're going in the ER, these would be great to keep in your hospital bags. So that because one thing I find, you know, when I go for an ER visit, I'm usually there for quite a while. And then, you know, I, I'm going in because I already don't feel well. <laughs> and um, I'm sitting there and I have no sodium. I have no food. I have the stress of being there. And then it just accelerates the crisis situation. So having something like this is essential. So you can put it in little different places and different things like that. 
I'm going to even guess if you want to have um, an alcoholic drink and stay hydrated, you might want to try one of these little gaffers in there too. So, all right. So what I'm going to have to do, and it's probably not going to be the prettiest. I'm probably, I should have had scissors, but it makes it very difficult to open anything. Okay. So I'm going to have to use my teeth and hope for the best. I can tell you it smells good. This is a lemon lime flavor. There's 570, I believe, milligrams of sodium. Okay, a bunch of vitamins and stuff. There's 370 milligrams of potassium. So always check this kind of stuff if you are sensitive with your adrenal insufficiency with your potassium levels and make sure that you're not overdoing it. So 570 milligrams of sodium, okay? So blender bottle. Okay, and those stainless steel, that's kind of... Doesn't all want to come out. Okay. Those stainless steel water bottles too don't have the convenience of this on the go. Okay. So if you want to make sure things are mixed up well, if you're doing something like this, a protein shake, something like, you know, this is going to be ideal for this. And again, this girl works on a budget. So, you know, spending $60 on a water bottle is not for me. But if it's for you, then it's for you. You do you. That's what's important about this. Do the things that make you happy. If a water bottle costs a little bit more money and it makes you happy, you deserve things like that, okay? This make, this is what makes me happy. Okay, so we're going to shake it up. We're going to try that liquid IV. And we're going to find out if it's a love-hate. I'm assuming it's going to be a love because I'm going to have that saltiness and because you guys have already told me you like it, okay? So I've already heard good product reviews on it. So that's why I wanted to try it out. And that's why I'm passing this along to you as well, because it might be something that works for you. So let's try the lemon lime liquid IV. Yep, that's good. <laughs> I really like it. Um, definitely, you know, it's sweet. It's from the sugar that's in it. There's no doubt about it. They've done a really, really good job on it. Um, but again, just please be mindful. I'm not getting in too much sugar from these kind of drinks. Um, another good product that you might want to try if you've never heard of it is LM, LMNT. Some people call it LMNT. Some people call it Element. Um, you can Google them. They even have on their website how you could create, um, you know, without a flavor, how much sodium to add into your water to recreate um, their, their product as well on your own, which is going to cost you absolutely nothing. So it might be something that you want to play around with. So, so let's review when we have heavy makes Jill grumpy, low cortisol. It is now a weapon, a potential weapon, <laughs> blender bottle, inexpensive, won't keep your beverage cold, but it's got the nice little whisk in it. Great for temporary on the go kind of things. Um, and liquid IV, I give it two thumbs up. I highly recommend that you give it a try. And thank you so much for joining me. And please be well, my friend.